Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today we're going to be going over the Z390 Gaming Edge AC motherboard and how to set it up for crypto mining. Now today I just gotten my other card in. Prices are down so low, I couldn't resist it. I got it for 525 bucks. These cards were selling for, you know, 750 before. So I got myself another 3060 uh, RTX. It's LHR model. It is number seven in my rig. I'm really happy to finally get that one in there. I'm dying to get that eighth card set up. But for now, I got that A4000, so that's my full eight. But I really want that other 3060. The problem is, is that when I hooked it up, all of a sudden, the motherboard didn't like it. It reverted back to its default uh, bio settings, and it's taken me the past almost <laughs> five hours to get this thing back. And I finally got all my settings back up. I can't believe I forgot to change just one little setting over after I had everything ready to go, and I've been going nuts. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to hop over there. I want to show you what settings I have on this motherboard to help you so you don't waste the next five hours and losing profits, all right? So let's hop over to the other rig. I'm just going to bring the camera over there. I'm going to show you what I got going on. Hopefully this helps you. Let's see what it looks like. All right, y'all, so this is the BIOS, and we're just going to take a quick look at it here, show you the settings that I have and where I made my mistakes. So when this is what it looks like when it comes up, you're going to want to go ahead. First off, I have both of these off. I go ahead and click on this top tab here, and that's going to bring up the advanced settings. You'll go to settings over here. Now, for the system status, there is nothing in there that we need to deal with. Right now, we're going to be looking at the advanced settings. So we're going to come in here, the first one. We're going to want to make sure we have Gen 2 for both of these. They are defaulted as auto. Um, Gen 2 will enable you to have multiple GPUs on the rig. So we're going to put Gen 2. Then we're also going to make sure we have above 4G memory for crypto mining enabled. Now there is one other setting in here, right here. Now if your rig's giving you trouble, you're going to want to leave it on default. But once you get your rig and it's stable and everything's running real smooth, you can go ahead and push that up to 96 if you want. You start at 64 and hit to 96, but this is completely up to you. This just allows the cards to talk to the board for a prolonged period of time, gives it better efficiency and uh, a little more involved than that. But bottom line is that if you're having trouble, leave it at 32. Once you get stable, you can throw that up to 96. I've got mine up and running now. It's just back up. So I'm going to wait just a little bit, make sure everything is good. And then I'll throw that one back up myself to 96. Let's go back to advanced. Let's see what else we got. Integration here. So uh, the onboard LAN, because I am using the, uh, the network. So I have that here. Also, we're gonna change this one as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're not gonna change that one. We are gonna go to, I didn't do anything uh, for the Thunderbolt. As a matter of fact, I have it disabled. Uh, I'm just gonna go through all of them so you can see exactly what I have, the USB configuration. I didn't change anything on here. Uh, let's go back. So I didn't change anything here. Under power management, I do have it set to power on after power uh, loss. And that way, if you have any trouble in your house, you lose power for a second and the rig reboots, this will automatically turn the board back on and it'll start mining if you have Hive OS. If you're using Windows, you're gonna have to start that up yourself, but because I use Hive, it makes it a little bit easier. It automatically boots from that USB uh, when the computer starts. It makes it a little, little nicer if I'm not home and there is any problems. It has happened, but it's so ultra rare. Power management. <clears throat> Sorry, we were just there. Let's go back here. So uh, this one right here, you're gonna wanna change this one. I was set default to CSM and you're gonna wanna go to the UEFI. Uh, that's what my problem was. That's where I forgot to change it. And that's what's caused me to lose, lose about five hours. So definitely have that one changed. These two can be disabled. There's nothing else in here we're going to mess with. And let's see what else. No, nothing in there. The boot. I don't think I have anything in here that I've changed. Um, you can go to, uh, where is it? All right, so the uh, HD audio controller, uh, unless you're playing music on this thing, you don't need the audio uh, enabled on the motherboard. It just uses resources, so you can go ahead and make sure that's disabled also. And y'all, that's about it. That's all I've got changed on this thing. Everything is running really well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and X out of here. 
and you do not have any changes so i'm going to go ahead and say that and i'm going to let this boot up so you can see it really quick shoot up here with hive it just takes a minute to boot up and you'll be able to see that i do have eight cards on this rig let's give it a second there's my hive os starting up all right everything is up and running it all looks really good as you can see one two three four five six seven eight i do have all eight cards running on here with the settings that i have in the bios i do have one card on an m.2 slot there are two m.2 slots on the board to support up to eight gpus on this board uh, that's the reason i am using this board because i have an eight gpu rig now i don't have the right cpu installed so it will only support one of the m.2 slots if you have the correct CPU, then both M.2 slots will work. So as you can see, this M.2 slot is enabled right here. And then I have a splitter that's allowing the other two cards to be read. Um, I did get the wrong chip when I originally bought this and uh, I didn't swap that out. So I am stuck with this for now. The M.2 slot closest to the CPU is the one that will not work unless you have the proper CPU. So do a little research on that, find out which one works for you. I will put a link in the description below for this board and uh, compatibility for parts. It's a really good website, definitely check it out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that button. You know I love that. Any thumbs up, you know I appreciate them. And comments, what are you doing with your board? Do you have this board? Do you have the same problems? Do you have any settings that are different than mine? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, I have a link for this board and compatibility parts for it. Appreciate you checking in. I'll see you all next time.